So right now we have uh, Eucalyptus paramatensis, which is uh, Paramatta red gum. So we're testing whether this threatened species can cope with three degrees of warming. So behind me we have one of the whole tree chambers that we have here at Western Sydney, where we have a tree rooted in soil in a chamber that's nine meters tall, where we're controlling the temperature, the CO2 concentration, and the humidity. At the same time, we can measure how much carbon it's taking up through photosynthesis and how much water it's losing through transpiration. So one of the really interesting things that we find is that these trees can change their physiology in response to warming. They are dynamically adjusting their expression of genes and changing protein concentrations to um, fine tune their growth to their environment. So this is one of the trees that has been exposed to three degrees of warming. And during the winter and, the, and during the spring, it has grown faster with warming. But we're concerned about how it will cope with heat waves of the future three degrees of additional warming when it's already 38 and it's pushing the trees beyond 40 seems to have a negative effect on their growth. Trees have an enormous impact on our climate and tree growth and carbon sequestration is already solving a part of our climate problem for us and we really need to understand if this enormous service that trees are giving us will continue into the future.